This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. <laughs> So this doesn't happen that often. Once or twice a year we get an update to the Helix. So whether it's HX Stomp, Helix or Native. And this one this year I think might be one of the most significant that I can remember since Snapshots. I wasn't actually using Helix when Snapshots were first created. But finally we have an update to the cab block which people have been asking for for a long time. We're now in a situation where we have essentially got uh, a much wider range of tones available because essentially they've reshot a whole bunch of IRs, thousands of them, and instead of like the stock cabs, all of them are on axis pointed at the cone. Instead now you can move the microphone around like you can in most other devices. Basically now you can go off axis. All of this stuff completely unlocked the cab block and not only that, they sound really good. I did videos with the, the Line 6 Metallurgy stuff. It's these cabs essentially that we've got access to now and they sound great. Also, the really cool thing about this is they use 66% to 80% less DSP than the existing IRs or stock cabs. So what this also could mean is that it unlocks the ability for you to build some more interesting presets in your HX Stomp in native full Helix as well. Possibly, a good catalyst for getting rid of or stopping using a bunch of third party IRs. I think for a lot of people, stock cabs didn't necessarily get them where they wanted quickly. And for sure, now that you can go off axis and stuff, high cuts I don't think will be anywhere near as necessary as they are with the stock cabs. Um, so it's quite exciting. However, it's not just that to be excited about. There's other really cool things that have come over from the Metallurgy collection. So we have the PV Invective, which is Misha Mansell's signature PV, right, I think. For folks that didn't get the results that they were looking for out of the 5150, this might be something that you want to check out. Also, there's the Earthquaker Devices Life pedal in there now, and there's the Earthquaker Devices Plumes, uh, which is like a, a, a different take on a Tube Screamer as well as the Sun Amp model um, and a few other little bits and pieces like a dynamic ambience um, reverb algorithm and also uh, the bass octava, a new vibe pedal and also a new chorus. So lots to get your teeth into. I'll show you some tones now. So just wanted to take you through some of this stuff quickly. So I think if you go into your global preferences um, over here, uh, we have got this link dual cabs on or off thing. So in, for me personally, I think this is something I'd like to have on. So when you use dual cabs, uh, it's essentially going to mean that you uh, link these things up. So you can see here you've got now guitar, bass, guitar and legacy. So if you still want to use stock cabs, you can. But in general, I'm going to imagine that most of us are going to prefer the idea of using the new cabs um, so let's just start something here so you see basically I think some of the presets and some of the defaults are going to be different as well um, so something to, to watch out for as well so 
some of the factory presets I'm imagining hopefully might be a bit better. Here is our first look at the new cab section on the HX Stomp. So you can see we've got 57, 40, 21, 7, 906, 30, 121, 160 ribbon, 4038, 84 ribbon, 414 condenser, 47 and 67. Now I'm going to try with the 67. We've got position here. So you've got cap edge here comes up. Where has it gone? Center, cap edge. And so you can kind of imagine that the further we go this way, we get further from the cone. So darker tones and then this way, brighter tones. So just to demonstrate that, that is essentially what our stock cabs would have been. That's our extreme and then of course everywhere in between. And our default is going to be 7.1 for this. Um, and you'll see the default high cut now is either off or sometimes set to 12, which is, you know, in the past, they, they used to be by default set at... Uh, Eight kilohertz right because they were a little bit brighter than maybe some people wanted um, we've also got this off axis thing so that's essentially the cab and then level the other thing that we've got going on is if you do the normal thing like I would you bring in so we've got options here like the dual IR which is new and also the dual cab so because I've linked these this should work quite nicely you see our options for cabs here so let's go with the 2x12 bluebell and essentially you get all of these things again so you're gonna get have two options and on this side I'm gonna use I don't know let's use a ribbon mic the 160 ribbon, position, distance, angle, all of that sort of stuff again. Let's turn that low cut off. But you also have this thing here, the delay. So I'm just going to show you how I would use this. So what I would do is firstly pan the cabs left and right. So this is a new thing as well. So can do that but what we can also do is introduce this delay which can really separate these things out a bit uh, in quite an interesting and powerful way to give you a bigger stereo spread Um, I think we can also do that in the new IR block. So if you had a dual IR thing, like an own hammer one here, you've got a low cut A, high cut A, center, and all of that stuff, and we can pan them. So let's pan this one over here, and then IRB. Let's use this one that Igor sent me once. Again, we can pan, and also we can delay one or the other. That's really cool. Right, other things that we can do, we've got the new reverb, which is this dynamic ambience. So got room size, eight meter, 10 meter, 12, pre-delay, damping, diffusion, let's turn that off, mix, shape, late or early, um, all this stuff. So I'll just do a whistle stop tour of this one. This, this is essentially like room sound. <laughs> So that's nice. 
what else have we got? We've got the uh, base octave, so this is like the boss. So we've got control over the first octave, the second octave, and the dry level. <laughs> the new modulation so we go stereo We've got flexo vibe so we could put that here and go <laughs> got rate intensity warp spread mix let's spread this even further <laughs> that's another vibe option that you've now got in the helix and we've got this where is it the four voice chorus um, so depth and all that So that could be useful for some folks, but I don't think the effects are necessarily the most important part of this update. Although a couple of important drive ones. So what we've got, we've got the pillars, the earthquake devices, uh, tube screamer. <laughs> which has three modes um, to do with clipping symmetry. So a bit more of a versatile tube screamer. What else have we got? We've got the uh, life pedal, so we've got vital distortion, so the distortion side. So, you know, for those pretty brutal things. And then we've got the boost side of the pedal as well. Pretty cool. Um, then other things that we've got, we've got, haven't we, in here, the moon normal, so for folks that are into, um, you know, these more sludgy tones, you've got this amp, which is a bit legendary in real life, right? The Sun Model T. Um, we've also got the bright. And the jumped.
you know, for certain styles of music, I think people are going to be really happy with those. And then also we've got what I think might be the new favourite for 5150 style tones, the PV Vitriol lead. Um, and... Yeah. use a 57 on one side on the other side we'll use ribbon <laughs> You know, uh, a, another really cool amp to have in there um, with all of the settings that... <laughs> ..that you might want to uh, get some of these wild tones. So I think the favourite thing for me about this is this new dual cab thing. Um, in terms of what you can now put into a preset, I don't know how much difference you might notice, but in theory, we should be able to do slightly more adventurous things. Uh, so, hopefully you'll find that to be the case, that you're running out of DSP slightly less frequently. So what we've got here, we've got the pillars, we've got a vitriol lead, which is quite a DSP heavy amp, a dual cab block, um, transistor tape, dynamic ambience, um, can we fit in another reverb? Probably not at this point, but you're still going to bump up against those limitations. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's move these slightly further away from the cap and without using our high cut, we can get darker. So I think that's quite an exciting bunch of new stuff. Um, I hope you get some kind of pleasure out of that. Um, I know I'm going to be spending a bunch of time dialing in some new stuff with this. Uh, I'll do some more specific videos, I think, but this is sort of like the general kind of run through. Um, hopefully you find that vaguely interesting. Let me know if you want me to drop this preset into the folder. Cheers for now.